How's it going lads, Phil Potter here and welcome to the 29th episode of Road to a Better Bollocks FC. Now as you can see we picked up Hugo Lloris there basically to replace uh, Rufier aka Benzema. <laughs> uh, but anyway before we dip our massive gang gangoolies into today's episode if you're looking for some extremely cheap ultimate team coins then make sure you check out thegamekeys.co.uk. Their link will be in the description below and if you, and if you use the discount code Phil you get a further 5% off. They also have a fully automated service now so you get your coins in less than 3 seconds after you order them which is absolutely Absolutely amazing but uh, this game was quite tough this guy my opponent was really good and when he ugh, look at that for a free kick when that ball nestled into the top corner even a little bit of love juice came out of my flute if you know what I mean uh, and unfortunately I, I was trying to pile on in the last few minutes and he ended up getting another goal which basically rubbing the mustard into the wounds you know what I mean I don't think that's a saying I, but, but we'll go along with it as you can see he had a lot more shots I had more possession but I wasn't creating enough very good player congratulations man uh, <laughs> but we'll continue on here and uh, the next t next game we come up against or next team you come up against Jesus Christ I'm losing control of myself uh, is a team with a few good, very good players Aguero, Neymar, Mata uh, Xavi some very good players in there and we start off this episode with Cause you the dirty, filthy bollocks, but it does not matter because Wileyson shows that he oozes just that little bit of class. He's not quite up to Ronaldinho standards just yet, but holy mother of Jesus, what a run. He basically ran the pitch. We win a free kick, and from the resulting free kick, Guarin, oh, uh, what a strike from outside of the box. I'm getting very hyper here, uh, and there's a lovely tackle here from Guarin. Oh, no, the ref sends him off. The, oh, I couldn't believe it. Jesus Christ, now I know he kind of went through the player a little bit, but th that is not a red card, that's a yellow, it's a yellow. Cause you're but even down to 10 men, we get it back and... Cause you're then he equalises, God this is a very filthy episode I have to say, I should call it Road to a, a filthy explicit bollocks or something like that. Uh, but Wileyson with an absolutely incredible goal there, and can you hear that lads, there's some music playing in my head. Shimanga! 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 Oh, Shimanga! <laughs> <laughs> I must hand it to myself, lads. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that turned out pretty well. And Shiranga actually scored a goal. What is going on? But look at this for a run from Mike on Lecce. Or Lecce. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's something along those lines. A brilliant run. But unfortunately, he could not score in a reversing bus full of fannies. What is going on? Now, I don't know if you've ever tried, but it's very easy to score in a reversing bus full of fannies. What am I talking about? But he does get a third goal back. And since I was down to 10 men, I was shit myself a little bit. Look. Look at the red cursor over my defender there. FIFA just, they wouldn't let me control the defender I wanted to. And I must say that was very frustrating. But in the 88th minute, I do a little bit of dilly dallying and uh, we eventually get a shot off here. Look at this for an absolute screamer. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately it was a heap of shite but we do get one more chance in the final minute of the game and Shimanga passes it to Moreno Moreno is one of those players he is an oozy player if you know what I mean and he ran it straight back straight into the goalkeeper and the game ends for all so even with 10 men on the pitch why does it not say, say I have a player sent off there? I don't know, it usually does. But with 10 men on the pitch, I couldn't quite get the job done. I basically couldn't buy uh, a win if I wanted to, you know, to save my life. I'm just an absolute heap of shite. But we go into this next game. It's kind of like a, a bit of a hybrid Liga Portuguesa, Brazilian Liga BBVA kind of team, you know, a bit of everything in there. And I thought that header there was nestling into the top corner, but unfortunately it wasn't. But these are some wonderful skills from Bernard. Look at that. And if this strike had gone into the top corner, I was whipping my Ferreira Roches out, but I haven't whipped them out in quite a while because I haven't scored a nice goal in quite a while. But maybe I spoke too soon because Jobson, no, no, he, Jobson hits the post. What is wrong with me, lads? I don't know, but here we go. My finger, my finger. Ma vinga ma vinga Ma vinga ma vinga Oh you beauty ma vinga and shimanga score in this episode what an absolute you know that that's unheard of Mavinga doesn't usually score but unfortunately is it a bird is it a plane no it's Carl Pilkington bullshit thank you Carl what was that I mean, I was all over this guy in the first half. I had eight shots. I'd only one on target, so let's talk about not talk about that. 
But, uh, oh my god, look at this. I could have scored a speed bump. Well, the fatty's there. And uh, look at this bit of free kick movement and that. My players actually nearly ran into each other for the free kick. I don't know if you saw that. But uh, I was piling the pressure on for the whole half. I even went for a bit of sweaty sweaty time uh, but I failed and I just couldn't score it's ridiculous and then I finally do score in the 90th minute but he's offside what is going on lads I can't win <laughs> it's getting a little bit frustrating I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie maybe I should just sell everyone in the club and pretty much start from scratch build some sort of I don't know, like build a Dutch team or go mental. And I'm, I'm not bad at a Dutch accent. Like I could do that quite a bit, you know, like, I would, and then we scored the goal. You know, it's not bad. <laughs> uh, but we go into the final game of the episode. And if we lose this, I get relegated. So it's it, there's a lot of pressure on this game. And in the fourth minute, you know, I don't want to lose it. So I, I want to, oh, I wanted to stay tight at the back. But, uh, no, that's not going to happen. I can see it straight away. And in the 19th minute, my opponent starts to, decides to play a bit of crossbar challenge. The absolute bollocks. Uh, <laughs> but this guy's ball movement and that was so, so good. I knew what he was going to do, but it was so quick uh, that I just couldn't handle it. I don't know if any of you noticed, but when you play a, a team... Uh, Serie A team, it's almost impossible to win. I, I, I don't know if it's just me now or what. But, it, you know, this guy was good enough without me just gifting him goals. There I am. Here, get your goals. And then in the 67th minute, I try one of my free kicks, but it doesn't work, and I end up getting another player sent off. Oh, my God. This is just... It's gone from bad to a heap of shy, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, Cooley Bali gets sent off. But in the 82nd minute, we don't give up here at Bollocks FC. We swing a ball in and we get a goal back. Is there enough time for uh, an equaliser? Well, even though we need to score two? No, there is not, is the answer. Because Balotelli is r ridiculously good in this game. It's unbelievable. But unfortunately, we lose and we get relegated again. That's the second time in this series. I'm not used to playing. I'm not used to being this shit, I must say. So I apologize for that. I hope you did enjoy the episode other than me not winning a game for two episodes in a row. Jesus Christ almighty, if I don't win an episode in the next... Oh, God, if I don't win a game in the next episode, I'm giving YouTube up, all right? So uh, I'll talk to you again soon, lads. I hope you did enjoy. Have a good one. Love you.